Hey, welcome to another coaching session today. I'm going to point out a another way you can use Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. And um, this is called their QuickCast. Now, I just use Libsyn as a media host. I don't use their blog pat platform. And normally what you do, let's uh, get rid of me, is you go into Publish, and I say I want to make a new post, and I type in my post title, and I come down here and I click on my hard drive and I navigate to my podcast. Now, what you can do is after you've added your ID3 tags, you can actually upload a file via FTP and it will actually create a post for you using the ID3 tag. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here I want to show you, this was my last episode. And so what I'm going to do is over here, I have, this is my latest episode, 331. And my title here is Google Hangouts as a podcasting solution, Ray Ortega. Now what you can do is you can, I'm using a program called Core FTP. You can find that at coreftp.com. It's free for the PC. And I have a Libsyn account. My, you can, what's called FTP. It stands for uh, File Transfer Protocol. And what you do is you put in ftp-server.libsyn.com and then your username and password that you use to log into Libsyn and when I do that I can click on connect and it will show me now I have a couple of shows on Libsyn so here I'm publishing the school of podcasting so if I go in here there is a folder called QuickCast and if I double click on that and then I'm gonna come over here and find my podcast that I just tagged and it was episode 331 of the school of podcasting's morning announcements and so all I do is I publish it to this QuickCast folder. And I won't make you watch this. You'll see it's going to take about two minutes. But what this will actually do is once it hits that folder, it will, Libsyn will automatically look at this, look at the ID3 tag. So it's going to look at this title. Um, anything in the comment field will also then be put in as the blog post. Now it doesn't look at... Uh, I don't have a date field or anything like that, so it won't put the date, it won't put a, a category in for you, but it will automatically make that, and then all you have to do is go in and get the link to your file. So let's uh, see here if this is done yet. Okay, so you can see we're at 98%, 99%. So this folder, this file now, is in my QuickCast folder, and fairly quickly... Libsyn will go through and process this file. So let's go ahead, let's put a little timer on them here. And uh, I will say I want this to be a stopwatch. And let's click start. And what's cool about this is I, I'm going to say, I, definitely within the hour, um, I will be able to come back over here and refresh my screen and see where I have a new post. So if I go back here to my previous post, there it is. So that took all of 16 seconds, if that. And so if I go in here, um, if I wanted to edit this, you can see there's my title. But what was in the, the comment section of that is now here in that. Now, I don't use this for my blog post, so I don't really put a lot of notes there. But it was just, it's easier done. So really, all I have to do now is if we pretend that, um, oops, wrong button, if I go back here to my dashboard if I just come to publish because I've uploaded it via FTP I just go here to previous posts and now I can just go either links probably the easiest thing to do and say here's my link and copy and paste that into my WordPress so here I've uh, made a new post I can paste this into my uh, podcast URL box here in the PowerPress plugin is what I use and uh, always click the verify button make sure it's happy it's green if I wanted to I could come back over here grab my headline copy that paste that here I'll type my show notes and I'll be done so that's Libsyn's quick cast and again the key to that is you when we um, set this up we put in ftp-server.libsyn.com as the IP address your username and your password that you use to log into Libsyn and then when you upload it, go into your, show, your show's folder name and then the QuickCast folder, and it will automatically make a podcast episode based on your ID3 tags. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop by and visit me at schoolofpodcasting.com. Thanks for watching.